Let's do this. Hello, what's up, everybody? It is your sister in heart. My name is Princess Sandra, and I am here again with another motive action. If you're coming for the first time, please do press the subscribe button down below. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back again. Today's video is all about understand people's assignments in your life. Know your place in people's lives. You need to know your place in people's lives. There's nothing painful like being something more to somebody who sees you like something less. Um, they care less about supporting what I'm doing, yet I'm supporting what they're doing. You are always the one who is running after this person. You are the one who's going and meeting into their houses. You are the one who's going and making means to actually have a conversation with them. So how do you deal with those kind of people? I'm going to give you five ways that it will actually make you be aware of your place in the other people's lives number one be what i like to call a fool be a fool for the at the beginning okay they will definitely show you their true colors the more you act like a fool be like a fool uh, do all the things from the bottom of your heart and don't do things because you're expecting something back in return from anyone in this world okay so you gotta make sure that the first thing that you do is that you observe and you be like a fool and you do everything that is comfortable with you to do that is who you are learn the lesson learn the lesson as the saying goes everybody when people show you who they are you better believe them now that they have shown you who they are after you have shown them who you are, now you have a clear mathematics in front of you to actually put everything in a scale and actually weigh. Do you really want to keep this person in your life? After you have taken a decision, continue watching their behaviors. And while you are growing yourself and while you are putting yourself out there for the people who actually do appreciate you, you will be saving yourself a lot of time a lot of hurt a lot of betrayal so number four the fourth thing that you need to do is do not be discouraged to keep on meeting other people out there do not be discouraged to keep on being the person that you've always been because it is easy to abandon the genuine self that you are after being surrounded by people who are not genuine for a long period of time so you want to uh, reciprocate their, their, their behaviors towards you. You want to serve them their own medicine. You know, it, it is never really worth it, especially for you, your sake. If you want to grow as a person, learn that there will be things and people as well as places that are not going to be for you. And it's okay. And there will be people who will dislike you for absolutely no reason. And it is okay. The same way now you kind of have those other situations and people and places that you just don't vibe with. And sometimes you don't even have a reason why you don't. But you just don't. And the best thing to do is to actually make sure that you separate yourself as far as possible away from those things that make you feel that way. We might not be able to to understand and comprehend why we feel the way we do about particular people and things, but there's always a reason behind it. We might not know it now, maybe we'll know it a couple of years later, maybe we'll know it in our next, next life if there's such a thing, but there's always a reason. Never force yourself to be in a relationship or in a situation or in someone's presence when you feel like your presence is not appreciated by the person. Last but not least, love from a distance. Now that you figured out that you don't vibe with this person, it doesn't mean that now you have gained yourself a hater. Now that you have finally figured out that this person is not for me, is not a kind of a person that I need right now with the kind of life that I'm living currently, learn to love them and leave them. Leave them alone and don't hate them. Don't judge them. We all embody both the good and the bad in us. Sometimes we are aware of it. Sometimes we are unaware of it. So it is important to make sure that when you distance yourself from people who no longer serve a purpose in your life, it is coming from a place of love for yourself first. It is a symbol of loving yourself so much to say, as much as I love this person, as much as I've tried all that I could to be around this person and have them in my life, it seems as if all my attempts are not showing any way forward in terms of growing this relationship or this togetherness with this particular person. So the best thing that I can do for myself is to actually love me first so that I can be able to love them back, but love them from a distance. Distance those kind of people in peace. You don't have to have like 
no, you do not have to confront them, you are this, you are that. Because honestly speaking, at the end of the day, uh, whether we like to accept it or not, we will come across these kind of situations and we will come across people who are like that and it is up to us how we react. I know this part is not easy. Learn to forgive people before they even say sorry. That is the highest level of emotional intelligence that you can ever reach in your life. The day you learn to be apologetic towards people who've never even said sorry to you. They are, I believe that energy actually speaks louder than words. So they will definitely kind of feel that, okay, this is happening. There's some shift of energy. Something is not the same. And they'll learn, they'll pick it up. Uh, some of them might even ask you, is, are you good? Is everything fine? Maybe that will be an opportunity for you to then tell them in a way that, you know what, I figured that maybe this is not working out. So I'm trying to kind of find myself and, you know, find out what is it that I want and what are the kind of people and the situations that I want to put myself into. No hard feelings. I've got no beef towards you. It's just it is what it is. But I personally don't like to confront people. So I simply study the situation after I've given all my best and I move on, you know, with love. Obviously, I don't have a heart to hate anybody. You move on with love because when you choose not to forgive them and when you choose to keep a certain feeling towards them that is negative it is going to eat you more than it's going to eat them it's going to affect you more than it's going to affect them remember our biochemistry whatever that we think and feel kind of results in our bodies as well you find people are sick all the time and they don't know why they're always sick it's because they're holding resentment inside them they're holding grudges they are holding hatred towards people who have done them wrong so it's not fair because at the end of the day it's you who's going to be admitted in the hospital not them so learn to <laughs> learn to forgive people from a distance and love them from a distance and be okay with saying you know what I tried you know I did try but it didn't work out it was out of my control and continue pursuing other people out there who are as genuine as you are so I hope that this video guys did find you in a good place if you're not subscribed please do press subscribe button down below and press the notification bell so that you can be pa become part of a family and be able to see every time when I upload a new video Thank you so much for staying tuned in and I'll see you on the flip side. Bye.